Milan Kasavia GCMG was a Serbian war heroine who fought in the Balkan Wars and in World War I. She is recognized as the most decorated female combatant in the entire history of warfare. She was wounded no fewer than nine times during her term of service. Military career Savia was born in 1888, in the village of Koprivnica, near Rukar, in Serbia. In 1913, her brother received call-up papers for mobilization for the Second Balkan War. She chose to go in his placea Euro cutting her hair and donning men's clothes and joining the Serbian army. She quickly saw action and received her first medal and was promoted to corporal in the Battle of Brugalnica. Engaged in battle, she sustained wounds and it was only then, when recovering from her injuries in hospital, that her true gender was revealed, much to the surprise of the attending physicians. Mental Floss described the repercussions, Savic was called before her commanding officer. They didn't want to punish her, because she had proven a valuable and highly competent soldier. The military deployment that had resulted in her gender being revealed had been her tenth. But neither was it suitable for a young woman to be in combat. She was offered a transfer to the nursing division. Savic stood at attention and insisted she only wanted to fight for her country as a combatant. The officer said he'd think it over and give her his answer the next day. Still standing at attention, Savic responded, I will wait. It is said he only made her stand an hour before agreeing to send her back to the infantry. In 1914, in the early days of World War I, Savia was awarded her first Karana star with swords after the Battle of Kolibra. She received her second Karana star after the Battle of Sierra Nerica in 1916 when she captured 23 Bulgarian soldiers single-handedly. Military honors she was awarded the French La Copyright Guinda Euro Unregistered Trademark on her twice, Russian Cross of St. George, British Medal of the Most Distinguished Order of St. Michael, Serbian Milo Obilia Medal. She was the sole female recipient of the French Croix de Guerre 1914 a Euro 1918 with the Gold Palm Attribute for service in World War I. Later life, she was demobilized in 1919, and turned down an offer to move to France where she was eligible to collect a comfortable French army pension. Instead, she chose to live in Belgrade and found work as a postal worker. In 1923, she married VELJK Ogligorajavia, whom she met in Mostar, and divorced immediately after the birth of their daughter Milna. In the interwar period, Milinka was largely forgotten by the general public. She worked several menial jobs up to 1927, after which she had steady employment as a cleaning lady in the state mortgage bank. Eight years later, she was promoted to cleaning the offices of the general manager. During the German occupation of Serbia in World War II, Milinka refused to attend a banquet organized by Milan Nidia, which was to be attended by German generals and officers. She was arrested and taken to Banjica concentration camp, where she was imprisoned for ten months. After the advent of socialism in 1945, she was given a state pension, and continued to live in her house in Belgrade's Bo Three Quarters Dovac neighborhood. By the late 1950s her daughter was in hospital, and she was living in a crumbling house in Vo Three Quarters Dovac with her three adopted children, Milka, a forgotten child from the railway station in Stalak, Radmila via NJA, and Zorka, a fatherless girl from Dalmatia. Later, when she attended the Jubilee celebrations wearing her military medals, other military officers spoke with her and heard of her courageous actions. News spread and at last she gained recognition. In 1972, public pressure and a newspaper article highlighting her difficult housing and financial situation led to her being given a small apartment by the Belgrade City Assembly. She died in Belgrade on October 5, 1973, aged 84 and was buried in Novog Belge. A street in Belgrade is named after her. See also, Flora Sands, Sofija Jovanovia equal Tarina Chiodoroyu, Maria Bokovan, Women in the Military, References. External links, The Hero Who Was a Heroine in Win International at